flat-coated retriever is a very attentive and active working dog. The famous actor Cary Grant once owned a flatty. History and origin of the flat-coated retriever. The breed has its origin in 19th century England when seafarers bought a small dog from Newfoundland in North America, which they called a St. John's dog, back with them to England. This dog is an excellent swimmer and it is considered to be the progenitor of all retrievers and at some time was probably crossed with setters, collies and water spaniels. The new breed became the most popular retriever in England, particularly amongst gamekeepers. Later, however, Labradors and Golden Retrievers would become just as, if not more popular. The first flat-coated retrievers were much bigger and stronger. At first they were still known as wavy-coated retrievers, which described their slightly wavy hair. By continuous crossbreeding with Irish setters, the dog's coats became smoother and their stature became more elegant. The flat coat was particularly popular with the English aristocracy who preferred the dog for duck hunting due to its excellent swimming ability. The flatty almost disappeared entirely following the Second World War but began to be bred again in the 1960s. Since then the breed has found many fans worldwide. Appearance of the flat coated retriever the FCI gives a height at the withers of around 59 to 62 cm for males and 57 to 59 cm for females. According to the breed standard, the weight of the dogs may be between 25 to 36 kilos, depending on the sex. Their life expectancy is usually between 8 to 14 years. The medium-sized flat coat has a particularly elegant appearance despite its strong bone structure. The coat, which has a luxuriant undercoat, is of medium length, rather smooth and may be liver-coloured or black, according to the FCI. The dog's small ears on its gracefully shaped head are set high and hang down at the sides. Temperament and training of the flat-coated retriever As a hunting dog with a well-developed will to find and retrieve, the flatty is easy to train and is happy to run across almost any terrain. As flatties are very temperamental, but also sensitive, owners should be experienced enough to train them using a lot of patience, consistency and without too much coercion. When flat-coated retrievers are given enough mental and physical challenges, they can also make ideal family dogs. However, owners should be a little cautious having them around small children as they can be rather impetuous and react to them perhaps too exuberantly. It is rare for flatties to become aggressive. However, the dogs can become nervous when they are not challenged enough. They are also not very suitable as guard dogs or watchdogs. Exercise and care of the flat-coated retriever. A flat coat is not for someone who has little time. Due to their temperament and a strong will to work, flatties must be given physical and mental tasks. Therefore agility courses, dummy work or training as a rescue dog are suitable. The risk of getting cancer is higher with the flat coat compared to other breeds. Also stomach twisting and flatulence is often reported, although their susceptibility to hip dysplasia or patellar luxation is much lower than in other medium-sized breeds. Despite the medium length coat, the dog's flat coat requires relatively little coat care. Regular brushing combined with checking ears and paws is sufficient. Flatties, like other retrievers, love to eat large amounts of food and always eat more than necessary. Therefore owners should pay special attention to giving them only the amount they require so that these beautiful dogs keep their slim and elegant lines.